All right, so I want to show you guys what I'm all packing for the Arizona Trail. Uh, so on this table is literally everything uh, that'll be going in our packs here. So this is this is like our entire lives, entire lives going in all this stuff, in all these bags. So yeah, let's let's go through what I got here. Um, so for clothing. Uh, not gonna bring a ton, which is kind of tough. Not gonna have the opportunity to change clothes very much. Uh, so, yeah, these, these will come in handy. We'll be, we'll be showering with those. Um, so yeah, I brought some thermal leggings here. Uh, two shirts, one short sleeve, one long sleeve. Uh, down jacket, and then my shorts, my biking shorts, and padded shorts, uh, and then compression shorts and then a uh, rain jacket a what are these called Bal balaclava balaclava something like that anyway yeah whatever um some gloves for when it gets windy slash cold uh, and then just regular biking gloves uh, we have all of our repair stuff it's, it's not a ton um, but there's some plugs in there for the tubeless extra stems uh, and then we'll bring a CO2 cartridge to kind of fill up uh, the tire, hopefully reseed it if it ever goes flat. Uh, extra repair spokes. And, you know, of course we have our multi-tool, a little Leatherman, some tire, whatever they're called, uh, pump. And then uh, a lot of Velcro straps. So I feel like these are gonna come in handy especially when we have to do the Grand Canyon. We're not gonna be able to bike it, so we'll have to strap everything to a, uh, a, a frame, a backpack frame. Um, all right, and then we have the sleeping pad. This is a Thermal, thermal Rest uh, Neo Air, I forget the one, whatever. Anyway, Outdoor Research Bivy here. Uh, and then a little tiny pillow. Got my eating utensil. Uh, and this is basically the entirety of the water we're gonna have for each each little section until we can fill up, which I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but it might be, we'll see. But I'm gonna pack this. This is kind of a, an emergency supply, just in case we have a stretch where we're gonna need probably more water than that, than, than this total quantity here. Uh, cooking pot, some matches, stove, sunscreen because it's gonna be sunny um, and then water purification stuff uh, cat it in um, whatever hiker pro or whatever it's called water filtration uh, and then this stuff to protect from some chafing don't want that uh, we're gonna pack a ton of these because your boy loves coffee uh, oh and then yeah yeah yeah. so a couple battery packs here uh, I'll be carrying two, I think this is 30,000, um, and I think this is 20,000, can't remember. Uh, and then a, a uh, GPS locator in case something happens where we need to be rescued. Uh, and then a bike light, and you know, of course pad tie, you gotta go with pad tie. Uh, yeah, and I think, I think that's really it. I mean, it's kind of crazy that, you know. Oh, oh, one more thing, gotta show one more thing. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got the other electronics here. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some filming in. Uh, I got a drone and also have a GoPro. So yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully I get to use all that. It's gonna be kind of tough trying to maintain all the charges on things, but we'll see what happens here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy that you know this is this is the entirety of our lives for a little while. So uh, yeah, pretty lit. These are the bags that I'll be putting on my bike. Uh, so I did mostly, well, actually all Revelate, uh, which is a brand I found at REI. Had good reviews and everything seems pretty durable. Um, the internet seems to like them, so went with them. Um, we'll start over here at the front of the bike. Um, so on the handlebars here, um, we have the Revelate, uh, it's the handlebar harness and the salty roll. Uh, so kind of just has these rubber connection points wrapped around the bar um, and you know it's it's not it's not uh, super stiff so that way 
you know, if you take a, take a spill, um, you're not gonna break, well, hopefully not break any kind of mount there, which is pretty handy. You don't want, you know, your handlebar harness falling off in the middle of the trail, that would be good. Um, this is the Egress. Uh, it's a little pocket that goes on, you know, just slap it on the front of the, the harness here. Um, so I'll be keeping, oh yeah, I should tell you what's in here, yeah. Um, so I, I put my sleeping bag in here. Uh, it's a 30 degree down bag. Um, also stuff my bivy inside the sleeping bag to kind of save some more space. Um, but yeah, back to the egress. Uh, so this will be where I store my electronics. Uh, the GoPro, uh, the drone, battery chargers, all that stuff, cables. Um, so this is, this is waterproof. Uh, so you know, that'll, that'll protect that stuff. Um, next, uh, we'll talk about the, uh, the, uh, mountain feed bags here. I think they're called. Uh, I'm just going to slap some clean canteens in here, some 40, 40 ounce clean canteens. Um, and these kind of fit just like right here. So they just slap on the handlebar here. It's kind of, kind of a little inconvenient because you can't get your full like turning radius here, but, um, it's all right. I don't think we'll make it too many sharp turns with all this stuff anyway. Um, and then next, uh, we'll talk about the two uh, little containers I have going on the top tubes. Uh, so this one is the Revelate, and what was this one called? Mag tank? I think it's the mag tank. I'll Google that and I'll put a little, um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, mag tank goes right here. Uh, that just, it's right now full of like cliff bars and food items, just packed full of them. I don't think I could fit another cliff bar in there if I wanted to. Um, and then this is the jerry can. I believe I'll have to again yeah. confirm. Um, but this one will go right here and this will have like, uh, kind of like little bike repair stuff, tire lever, and then Velcro straps, all that stuff. Um, and then we'll move on to the, the two big boys here. Uh, so this is the frame bag. This is the Revelate Ranger, uh, size medium. Um, so this just slaps in there. Uh, it's, it's a decent fit for this bike, not, not the absolute best, but um, it'll do the job. Uh, I'm probably going to put my food and you know, propane and all that stuff in here so I can access it when I'm biking. Uh, and then this is the, uh, the big boy here, the biggest pack. Uh, this will be the seat post bag. Uh, this is the Revelate Spine Lock. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, it attaches uh, to this little mount here that you put on your seat post, or you put on your seat itself, sorry. Um, and it just kind of has this this bar that kind of threads through um, and then another connection point there. Um, so that'll just sit up there. Uh, in this, I have my clothes, my sleeping pad, um, I don't know, a couple other things, just mainly stuff that I'll want to access when I'm at camp. Um, and this is a, a waterproof bag, so it'll keep everything dry. And then, uh, oh yeah, also, we have the, uh, the Joey bag here. Um, so this is the down tube bag, and this will probably, well, this will have my 64-ounce uh, clean canteen in there. And then uh, on my waist, on my waist is the Osprey Savu. Uh, so I'll just have two water bottles here that'll be, you know, easily accessed while I'm riding, um, and I'll probably slam some more, um, who knows, fit bars maybe, or lunch, I don't know, in here, uh, phone and wallet, and, uh, yeah, should be good, uh, I feel like, I feel like I've got just enough storage, I don't know what the total capacity of all this is, um, but, yeah, it's 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 gonna be tight. I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's it. This is this is everything.